in the uh, summer of 2019, it was kind of a uh, kind of a heady summer for young Tommy. Uh, I was I won't say I was just getting into comic skate. I started in 2018, but I uh, didn't really have my CG legs just yet. I'd only backed a couple projects. Um, it was a uh, crazy summer for a lot of different reasons. Your old pal Tommy was thoroughly under the spell of a devil woman who had bewitched me. Um, work was going well, but, uh, my attention span that summer was, uh, was short. So what I found myself doing more often than watching movies, um, or anything that required any length of time or any, um, engagement or any attention, um, watched a lot of, a lot of YouTubers in 2019, uh, and not just comics related. Um, and the one guy that I discovered that I thought was very funny was, uh, Dame Drops. Um, I discovered him, he had done a, uh, a review of Five Guys, and somebody, uh, songified it. And the whole, um, the video went viral. Um, that's where I discovered him. And then I started watching his, uh, channel. And it was a very, very fun, uh, show. The videos would go about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes tops. And it would be him in his car, um, you know, trying out the new Baconator from Wendy's or, or what have you. And he, the guy himself, uh, has a very engaging, inviting personality. He's very funny. Um, he has a way with a phrase. He, um, a lot of the ways that uh, he expressed himself I found very clever and witty. So, uh, that whole summer, I, I, I watched, uh, a good bit of Dame Drops, and then in, uh, I guess it was 2020, maybe 2021, when Antonio Bryce, um, entered into a collaboration with him, I backed, um, and, you know, we all know sort of the, uh, <clears throat> the ultimate end of that uh, campaign, um, it, it just blew up on the launch pad, so to speak. Um, digital copies went out, but nothing print has ever been released. Uh, you, every once in a blue moon, you'll get a, an update uh, from Antonio Bryce swearing that they, it's not dead. And one day when he gets the money together... Um, you know, fulfillment will happen, and I think all of us just kind of, you know, sadly nod, but, uh, and, and move on with our lives, but, um, the, um, the email I got from him with my, uh, digital copy more or less just sat in my email all this time. It's been... Uh, about 23 months, just, just shy of two years, that email's been sitting there. And at first it sat there for, you know, very legit habit and custom, uh, reasons. I, I, I get digital copies of campaigns all the time and I usually just let them sit because I prefer to wait for the, uh, for the physical copy. But in this case, I don't know that. I'll ever get a physical copy. I mean, it could happen. You know, hope springs eternal. But um, it's sad, and, and quite frankly, I forgot about it until last night on uh, Trashcast. The, the topic came up. Um, Ethan was talking about Fearsome and how um, Kanan White had turned down an opportunity to work on Fearsome to instead hitch his wagon to Antonio's star with his Dame Drops project. Uh, 
So, yours truly uh, dug out the email this morning, and earlier today I read Dame Drops. I, I don't know if the full title of the book is Dame Drops Super Official uh, or just Dame Drops, but what I said earlier today on Twitter is, is going to kind of be the theme of for this video, which is that if you close your eyes and you imagine what a Dame Drops comic book would probably look like, you've probably nailed it because there are just no surprises. The it's a the first story, the main story, is Dame is in his car. He's just got a cheeseburger and he's gonna eat it, but Horror of horrors, there's uh, tomato and lettuce on it. He calls lettuce crunchy water, and he calls tomato the red ring of death. And so he throws the tomato and the lettuce off of his burger out the car window, and they form into a giant tomato lettuce monster that attacks him. And then he has to then... Um, fight off by he says super official and it's kind of like saying shazam and now he's super powered dame drops and he can fight the lettuce and tomato monster <sighs> yeah um tone wise it's a lot like one of those old fruit pie ads we used to get in the 70s where some hero like the Flash or Green Lantern had to fight a villain that we'd never heard of before, but the villain existed for the sole purpose of stealing fruit pies or making sure hungry children couldn't get their fruit pies or somehow messing with the fruit pies. And then the Flash or Green Lantern would swarm in and by the end of the ad, the bad guy, who usually had a name like the the um, evil sommelier or the wicked vegan chef or something, uh, would have reached his comeuppance and the kids get their fruit pies. And that's tonally more or less what this entire book was. Um... He fights off the tomato lettuce monster in the first story so that he can enjoy his burger. And then in the second story, he's at a restaurant and someone comes in named Flava, who kind of looks like a cross between Joker and the Creeper. And I think Flava's superpower is to make food taste bad. And... Dame Drops is having none of that. And so, uh, yeah, that's more or less it. So, um, the point of the story is that I finally read my Dame Drops today. Hey, hey. Um, I don't feel any different. This has been Tom Tuttle.